Windows 11 is here. It came out a few days ago and I decided to put it on the studio computer. So how have things in Pro Tools, Studio One, DaVinci Resolve, etc., all of these programs that we use on a daily basis, how has that been going? Well, so far, so good. No real problems at all. So here's Pro Tools. Uh, you can play back. No problem at all. Uh, all of my plugins come up. No problem. Load up new plugins. And I didn't have to reinstall any of my plugins or I didn't have to reinstall Pro Tools. I didn't have to reinstall anything at... Uh, at all because I did an, uh, an in-place upgrade. So all of my apps that I already had installed, all the drivers that I already had installed, everything updated just fine. Uh, and I actually had to do the manual method because this computer actually wasn't uh, technically compatible with Windows 11. It didn't have TPM 2.0, it had TPM 1.2, but I was still able to do the upgrade and everything works here just fine. Create a new track. As you can see, some new animations there. Nice rounded corners on these things. Everything works just as you would expect. Open up contact. Even things like my keyboards work just fine. Let me make sure this is on there. So keyboard works. Uh, obviously, the uh, audio interface works. I'm using the uh, Focusrite 18i8. Uh, the Scarlett 18 i8 right now. Everything seems to work just fine over here uh, in Pro Tools. I have not run into any problems at all. I'm not saying you can't, but, uh, you know, you might. So everything works here in Pro Tools, at least that I have, uh, I have seen so far. So I'll close down Pro Tools. And about the only problem I've had is every once in a while, the Start menu wouldn't pop up. Uh, it's a little glitch for some reason. And again, this computer is not technically supported because of the TPM issue and because even the processor wasn't supported, which is crazy because uh, it's a very, very powerful processor. But uh, if that sticks for you, one thing that I found is that you can right click this and just go to search and then type in whatever you want. And uh, then the start menu should start uh, working again. Again, probably just some glitch on my system, but if it happens to you, you might want to uh, try that. Let's head over here and the audio interface, again, using the focus right, works just fine. I can pull that up, no problem, everything works. Uh, OBS is working, I'm using OBS right now, as you can see. Uh, this video will be edited in DaVinci Resolve, so that's going to be working too. And let's open up Studio One real quick. I have not had any problems with Studio One either, everything just loads up uh, just as it did in Windows 10. So we can start a new song, pop that up, comes up just fine, head to a loop, just grab something, throw it in, audio works fine, recording works uh, just fine. Playback works fine, effects work fine, your plugins work fine grab them, throw them in. And again, I didn't have to reinstall anything. I just did an in-place upgrade of Windows 11 right over Windows 10, and there was no problems at all. Everything I already had installed was still installed and still working just, uh, just fine. So everything, again, every, in my experience anyway, everything over here in uh, Studio One, everything in Pro Tools, everything in DaVinci Resolve, they have all been working just, uh, just as I normally did. All right, comes up just fine. Okay, let's close this down. And real quick, one more test. We'll just open up DaVinci Resolve so you can see that that is working as well. DaVinci Resolve 17, pop into a project. And there is everything, so. Playback is fine, as you can see. Okay, so again, everything works fine here. Again, in my experience, I'm not saying that you won't run into uh, issues and glitches, but overall the update from Windows 10 to Windows 11 has been pretty painless. Again, everything just works. Although one thing that I uh, do keep doing over and over is I keep coming down here to the, uh, 
to this left side to find my start menu. Well, now it's right here in the center, although you can change this by right clicking on your taskbar, go to your taskbar settings and under taskbar behaviors, you can change that right here and put that back to the left. So it's back how it, uh, how it used to be or put it back on the center. Overall, Windows 11 actually works pretty good. It's uh, well laid out, well thought out and finding settings is pretty easy. Like if you want the uh, size of your cursor, uh, you can actually type in pointer, go to your mouse pointer style, change your style right here, change the size of your pointer uh, pretty easily right here in Windows 11. So that's a quick look at Windows 11 and how it works with Pro Tools, Studio One, your audio interface, OBS, DaVinci Resolve, even Affinity Photo, Google Chrome. Basically everything I uh, I use, uh, just it, it just works here in Windows 11. So should you upgrade right now? Well, you may want to hold off because there could be glitches that I just uh, haven't found. But again, so far my experience has been relatively pain free. All right, so that is Windows 11 in the studio.